Hey guys, this is Vril, continuing our Crusader Kings 2 playthrough as House Evering and the Kingdom of Scotland. So we have a war against a one-county province over here in Ireland. We are up to 98% on that. I think that we probably need to go find out their allies were, I believe, Cornwall. So let's... This could be a ticking war score, so probably by the time we walk down there it will have gone up to 100%, but let's go ahead and get started. Let's have a look. So we've got a child that needs to be educated. Is this my, actually my heir? No, it's not. I do think he could be. Uh, that was the one. Uh, Barrett Jedverson? Or does he just have the same portrait? No, it's, it's uh, my other son. Okay. Yeah, he's just turned six years old, so... Even though he's 60, he actually has decent statistics. Guess we'll go ahead and educate him. Let's let's go do maybe give him some stewardship. Most of our characters have pretty low stewardship. Speaking of which, let's double check our council. We've got the worst chancellor in here. Let's uh, see how this guy does. I don't think he'll do too well because he hates us but oops I just moved him I think that well that might be okay I was trying to look at opinion and uh, yeah okay so that's the that's okay place we'll move him up to uh, Ross at some point got a few jerk claims this was on Northumberland and we have this Galloway we have a truce with them though Let's see, okay, so we'll just focus on this war. I'm just looking at what else we had to do. Actually, one thing I could do is we had this clan of Fief. I was thinking to finally upgrade their hill fort. We'll start to get some larger uh, levy sizes at this point in time. Kind of need that right now and probably upgrade our market villages and things like that. Probably, let's see, can we... I cannot move this... Uh, during peacetime. I was thinking about moving my capital here. That's that was the thought. I know we've had Sudrayar for a while, but I'd rather have it down there. Okay. We'll think about that. So we have a new error. I think it's just going to be flipping around a little bit here. It's just my kinsman. Okay, let's just have a look who could possibly be an error. How is this guy? He's okay. He is stressed, though. Okay. 98%, and we are paused. I'll bump up the speed to four, or will I? Okay, there it goes. And this guy will... sending us a peace offer. So, King Jedford... Yeah, he will give his land to us. And we will... Go ahead and I was thinking I've got a bunch of guys that like my brothers and, and stuff that are always asking me. I wonder if we could set one of them. I don't think he okay, he already is in the, in the temple of Nidaros, so never mind. Okay, how about that's my sister, so no other male heirs or um, uh, male brothers. Of course, male brothers would be pretty clear, isn't it? See so yeah, what I was gonna do. I guess I'll just use our create a new vassal, and we do have this forest county is actually a feudal county. I think they might have upgraded it enough to make it a feudal county, so that's caused us a few issues. Now, where should we go next? Is the question. I'm thinking to go. Probably need to put away these guys that we had, or do we not have anybody? Okay, that works too, but we are in enemy territory. Let's move... See, I'm going to declare war on this guy, although he... Okay, he is actually under this guy, Petty Kingdom of Mead or Mide. I'm not sure the pronunciation there. So my mission to Athol has been so far a success. So that's good, I think. 
Let's see if we can move him to Moray, though. No, we cannot. Let me make sure that none of these guys are leading armies as well, though. And this guy should be building legend, I would say. Yeah, so... And... I'll have this guy organize a raid. Okay. How's our... We have that... Retinue. Okay, so it is growing a little bit now. Not sure what its maximum is. Might be 300, I'm thinking. Maybe it's 250. Okay. While I was going here, I'm going to try to take your land here. I was thinking at one point that we might go ahead and just like raid over here in Ireland, but I think while we have territory that we can take, I'll go ahead and just do wars for all of these, because then we'll have to deal with truce timers at some point. We claim to be pressed. I'll have to look at that when we're out of this war. Vassal inheritance warning, so I'll just lose this particular province. That's not bad at all, actually. It's two more titles to be created. Okay. Well, we're going to take this one here shortly. Should have probably checked on how <laughs> how much uh, large of an army these guys had. It's barely anything, 55. Although they might... More importantly than that, I should have probably checked who their allies were. Looks like it's all the other Irish characters, so I'm not too worried about that. We can certainly get some help if we needed it. So my co-conspirator, Godi Frirek, has procured a poisonous viper. This was against... Is this against my wife? Yes, it is against my wife. That was what we were doing. So we'll see how this goes. She was just a lowborn. Okay, so we're not worrying, worrying about like a yingling or somebody that we're angering in this whole thing. So the guards caught the serpent as it tried to slither away. The seller identified and has re revealed my complicity. So that's bad. <laughs> All right. My complicity in that, so... And uh, another poisonous viper. I think our... Yeah, our, our intrigue is not very good. She doesn't like me because I attempted to murder her. She's a Catholic, that's why we were doing this. Do need to keep an eye on my heirs to make sure that they're staying Norse. With all these Catholics roaming around. So it's unfor unfortunate to hold a title that uh, should be his. This is, is this the guy that's our heir? It's Borkvord of Albany. Chiefdom of Fief. No, we're not going to do that. Because I'm thinking to move my capital there, buddy. Okay. Actually, let's go ahead and we've got the money right now. I'm thinking to go ahead and also upgrade the hill fort here too it's like maybe do it everywhere that we can unless it's already been upgraded yeah it was already upgraded here so instead we'll do a market village and sudre are we might be able to do another market village there upgrade it now we'll just do market village yeah with that considering Sudrear is going to be, once they build that market village, a lot of decent tax revenue. I think we'll probably keep over there. They have the largest levies as well. So success, we uh, killed my wife with this poisonous snake, and guards are now too busy contending with a, uh, with a string of lethal snake attacks to search for the responsible. So I could kiss that snake. Well, maybe not. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so we should probably, I'm just thinking like other Catholic vassals, we should probably just try to, this guy doesn't really matter. Let's just get rid of him anyway. He had that high state intrigue, he's in jail, he shouldn't be able to do much. Titles to be created. Just looking at, yeah, so we are no longer married. I think that's okay, we've got... Three sons, I think, will be completely fine. So, King Jedford will be a... Although we do lose... 
Okay, for my counselors, we do lose, I think, whatever her... Because the, the calculation for these, I think, is your wife plus your council, right? Not 100% sure. Let's see if we can find some old woman to marry that wouldn't have any kids. Like this one right here. She seems pretty good. Her uh, wife, uh, or her previous husband, who was... Oh, my previous character. Okay, let's let's try this. She's pretty old, so I don't think she'll have kids. I think the females uh, can stay fertile till about 45, I think. So, Gunhilder, this is my daughter, is now of legal age, and she became a elusive shadow. So this is good. Let's have a look at our... Our spymaster is not bad. Our steward sucks. Let's uh, put somebody else as a steward. Man, that guy was horrible. Okay. So let's see, that... Not 100% sure if... Yeah, so it did improve from my spouse. Slightly. Okay. That's not bad. So... didn't. Okay, this is for Count Burgard Sitz. He will be arranging an escape attempt in which one of the prisoners will sadly suffer a tra tragic and er very fatal accident. Okay, we'll approve the plan. Okay, so we've got a Catholic revolt, those accursed infidels. Hmm, that's quite a few guys there, so we're going to need to... I'm going to focus on this war here. He refused to take the bait and attempt to escape. At least no one suspe suspects my role in this. We'll just have to try that again. He did have uh, really high intrigue, so... Okay, what is this? The Abadi Faith have been steadily dwindled down to the point where the card jite. Believers are in the majority. Okay, I'm not really concerned about what's going on there. Okay, well we're going to need to... get some... Let's see, we're 100% war score here. Force those demands. We're going to need to get some levies here, though, is what I was thinking. We've got... This temple, and we've got... County capital? Was this a... Feudal holding? Okay. Too many feudal holdings around here. We are one over our domain limit. That's okay. We might try giving it to one of my sons, but we'll see. Actually, I was thinking to give like the bishopric to one of my sons. Although I'm not sure if I can do that with Gavlikent. So let me just see if I can spawn these levies. See if we can meet up here. Tell me that the man is now inside the prison where Count Burgard sits. He will arrange an escape attempt, so same same deal as before. We'll see if he takes the bait this time. Our total intrigue, my intrigue sucks, but uh, our total intrigue's pretty good. So there's a chance, and yes, so we, success, uh, was killed while attempting to escape from prison. No fingers will be pointed my way. <laughs> what did that say? Sentence uh, commenced or something like that. Okay, I'm sure one of you will tell me what that said. Oh, I'm actually King Jedward the Fat now. So I'm, am I a glutton? Yes, I'm a glutton. That's why my stewardship is bad and... Yeah, bad church opinion, nobody likes me because the attraction isn't very good. My wife's okay with me. Cynical, though. Alright, so we've only got 2,500... We might need to pull in our vassal levies as well. And then I, I think we'll be okay because... Okay, they're, they're merging up though. Uh-oh. I think we should have better leaders than they had. And just like higher quality. They're all light foot. Okay, they actually did have cavalry. Wow. They actually out-strategized me there for a moment. I don't. I haven't really seen the AI smart enough to do notice that, that we were, like, assembling there. 
usually they're not that smart. So that that's a, that's a interesting turn of events, which isn't good, but uh, okay. We'll wait for our morale to go up because we lost quite a few, had a few, quite a few casualties there. And probably because we just lost all that, we've got some factions that are actually... I don't know. They're not, still not that large. Let's see, we should probably move our Chancellor on over to Ross. That was what had the largest negative with us, yeah. Some of these uh, new Irish areas did as well. Okay. Let's see, what it, what's his problem? And this is our error, isn't it? Disappointed, short rain, domain is too big. And yeah, okay. I like my prestige though. And this army is up to 100%. Got a new commander apparently we need to set. Somebody might have died in that last battle. Somebody else we can possibly kill there. So I think we only want to set somebody that actually likes us to be our military leader there. Let me go through my vassals here and see if I can find this guy. We'll plot to kill him. And I'm sure that will be good because he's a Catholic and nobody likes the Catholics. Yeah, I, I could see that... Uh, Jumped up really high, really quickly. So, what is this? Okay, for Jorvik. This is one of the Halfton Whiteshirt's heirs, I believe. So, I could declare war for his claim. A bunch of claims, possibly. Let's have a look at that in a moment. We probably have too many allies down there, though. Okay, so Ruffle, my co-conspirator, has sent word that a pile of manure has been prepared from under the floorboards for that uh, bishop that we're going to kill. Now we're up to 99% with these Catholic uprising. And we went ahead and killed that bishop. Which is good. Killed Stry uh, Sturkar the Unready. Okay, we're still not up to 100%. Close though, there we are. There we are. Go ahead and finish that up. We are getting some decent prestige now. We started, I think this character started with negative prestige. So, actually, we had some army down there. We'll put everybody down. Start rebuilding. Retinues are costing us, I think, but that's. Okay, let's see if there's anybody else. Uh, Catholic vassals. This guy was incapable. That's Kettle from Man. Don't think there's anybody else in here. Let's have a look at the court now, though. Got a lot of prisoners. Wow, that's a lot of prisoners. Yeah, I don't see anybody. We need to do a great plot. Although I don't know if it's been 10 years since the last one. Let's see, at peace. Yeah, we... Well, we're not at peace. That's why one of the problems. These uh, Norwegian revolt over there is keeping us from doing anything like that. Well, let's see. We've got that whole ability to... What is Jorvik as? He has 1.5k... His allies are include Wessex. He's got two thousand. Don't think we're going to do that. Such curiosity. What has found a new empire? Realm size of one hundred and eighty. So that's not happening anytime soon. And three kingdom titles. I I figured the kingdom titles, prestige of eight thousand would be higher than any of the characters we had as well. I think that's pretty understandable. That that requirement, but the kingdom requirement seems pretty low to me and that's why I don't really like to use it. Somebody asked me if I'd create a custom title, a kingdom title, and didn't really want to in this playthrough. So we've got a righteous imprisonment for a couple guys. What are they trying to do? I think 
This guy has been giving us a bunch of issues, so let's just try to arrest him. And he's going to rise up, and then we should be able to... Not sure where he's at. Or what did that say? Where did he go? Okay, there he is. Okay. Okay, there he is. Let's uh, get him before his morale gets up there, and then we'll capture him. I have to re build up my army here. Norwegian revolt has ended with a white peace, so at least that, that war is over. They keep calling me into war. And I bet this guy was one of our commanders, the one that we tried to arrest. So we'll have Braggy be one of our commanders. And we have a new council position, so we've got a Catholic. We're not going to have you. Can we plot to kill him? Yes, we can. So what were we looking for? A chancellor. Okay, so that is good. Move him back over to Ross, and we need a new court chaplain, who this guy is quite good, and we will go ahead and wish we would convert some of these provinces. It probably has a lot to do with our moral authority as a whole. It's down to 27 at this point. It's not good. Nothing we can do about it, though, other than not lose wars, and we're not the ones losing these wars. Other people are. Switch back to the realm view. And we will... I'm going to go ahead and finish sieging this. And then we'll go ahead and take that army. Alright, we siege that. And it does look like we're out of time for this episode. So thanks for watching. And we'll continue this war in the next episode. So I'll see you guys next time.